Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a quick video for you. Uh, we got an axle shaft here out of the, the stock Dana 30 that came out of my LJ. Uh, that axle's no longer being used, but if you're looking to get a little more strength out of your Dana 30, we're gonna show you how to do that. Uh, one of our less known products that we have are the almost alloy tabs. Uh, we call them almost alloy because these are gonna strengthen up your stock axle shafts almost to the strength of a chromoly. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the U-joint in this axle shaft, clean it up, and we're gonna weld our tabs on here. Um, and uh, camera guy is gonna pop up a couple pictures of some of the main failures that we see in these axle shafts. Um, I've ran these personally in an older rig of mine and I had yet to, uh, to have a failure at the end. I ended up snapping the axle shaft in the middle of that one, but not where they usually fail. So we're gonna show you how to change out the U-joint weld on our tabs and also how to check it to make sure that everything's going to clear when it goes back in your rig and at the very end we're going to show you how to replace a u-joint if you already have the almost alloy tabs on there so first off we're going to get that u-joint out of there so this is an original u-joint i'm assuming it's all never been apart it's all rusting apart on the inside uh, our new u-joint is going to come with new clips so to start off, we got to get our old clips out so that we can press our caps out of there. So if you guys are wondering if your U-joints are bad, here's how you check them. This should be super tight. Should not have that side to side, in and out, up and down. So this would have failed, most likely messed up the shaft. Then we'd have to replace a shaft or just put a, you know, JK Dana 44 axle in. That works too. So we're gonna try and get these clips out. Uh, if you got a vise, super handy. We got these clips on the inside right here. It's right up on the inside wall um, of the shaft. You're gonna have one per end. And I'm gonna have camera guy cut while I try and get these out. Oh. Up. Yeah, maybe. So we got this side out here. You can see the channel that that C-clip's gonna sit in. Next, we're gonna pop this one out and then we'll press the caps, separate the two shafts. I don't have an air hammer on the trail. That's why we're fixing this in the shop and not on the trail. So hammer didn't work. It did move it a little. Uh, then we tried to see clamp in the vise. That didn't work. So we busted out the air hammer. That didn't work. Final answer, ball joint press. Don't know if it's our final, final answer, but we're making progress. Moved a little more. It's bottomed out. Oh yeah, looks real good. Don't gotta worry about them needle bearings falling out. They're so bad. So we got our old U-joint out. Took uh, quite a bit of work. No grease left in it non-greasable u-joint so there's not a ton you can do about it once you start seeing play in it time to do this so old one's good to go in the trash new one we're going to start pressing in so we'll show you on the vise but uh, before you start getting ready to put your u-joint in clean up your shafts getting ready for welding clean it up if you got any gouging in there make sure it gets cleaned up don't take um, any real abrasive stuff to it because you don't want to change out that diameter. You just want to get all the crap out of it. So we got these cleaned up, ready to go. We're going to get our U-joint uh, pressed in on the vise, and then we'll move and get the uh, welder busted out and start welding these tabs on and show you how to do that too. I think I should get a bigger hammer. Good. 
All right, so we have our new U-joint in. Our welding surface is all prepped. Now we're ready to start tacking our tabs on here. Uh, this is another one of those applications where you want to jump around, not weld the whole tab, because then you'll melt all the grease out of your, your cap. So what I like to do, put these on side to side, make sure they're flush. And then I like to bring this up and you'll watch it push that tab back. That's where you want to be. So we're not doing any welding up here. We're just welding in our sides. If your welds get a little too heavy, just have to take a grinder, grind them down so that you get the full motion of that joint. So make sure that's where you want it. We're gonna tack front and back on all four sides on all of them. And then we'll go around, weld our one side, move to the next, weld to our next. And then we'll do the other side after it cools down a little bit. That was a great start. God dang it. Cut! Yep. As I was holding my thumb here and tacked the back, you can feel that, that cap roll up. So I should have checked it before I tacked the front, but just want to make sure that it's making contact up front. So we are, so we're good there. So I'm going to roll this, tack the other corners, and then we'll get the next cap on. So we got all of our tabs on both sides tacked in. So I'm going to run this side down, then I'll jump over to here, uh, and then I'll rotate. I'll hit this one and that one, let it cool down a little bit. We're trying really hard not to burn the oil um, in the cap. So we're going to start running our beads. So now we got our new almost alloys welded in. Um, if you run this for years and then you get a bad U-joint again, all you gotta do, cut these welds off, pull your tabs off, replace your U-joint like you would, weld them back on. So this isn't a permanent you know, U-joint in there. We can still replace it. So easy, cheap upgrade, little time consuming with popping an old U-joint out if you need to, um, but yeah. Get it on uh, Iron Rock's website. If you guys have any questions, give me a call. Drop a comment, see what you guys want to see next, and thanks for hanging out.